My brothers and my sisters, God has great plans for your life. God wants you to live a life with purpose and with meaning. In fact, my brothers and my sisters, not to sound like a prosperity preaching on tonight, God wants you to be blessed. God doesn't want his people to struggle. I know some people have been taught that struggling is a godly thing. But I want to let you know tonight, no, no, God doesn't want you to struggle. God, God just doesn't want you to, to get by. In fact, Jesus said, I came that you might have life. And life more. Amen. Come on, say amen. I'm on fast track tonight. Amen. I gotta hurry, hurry along here. But, but, but God wants you to have, as the young people would say, God wants you to have the stuff. Not necessarily be materialistic, but God wants you to have the stuff. Amen. He wants you to be to be blessed. He wants you to have a good life because, Amen. He, 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 because the world belongs to Him. God wants you to have dominion. That's the right word I'm looking for. God wants you to have dominion. Over the world. He wants you to be the ruler of his affairs down here on earth. God wants you to have it. Yeah, God wants you to have it, Mom. Yes, he does. Take it in. God wants you to have it. Amen. Ain't nothing nice about being broke, busted, and disgusted. God wants you to have it. He wants you to have it. He, he, wants, you, he wants you to have it. He wants you to have a good marriage. He wants you to have a good family. He wants you to have God and your children. He wants you to have it. He wants you to have a career. He wants you to have purpose. He wants you to be happy. He wants you to have peace of mind. He wants you to have a healthy body. God wants you to have it. He wants you to have it. But so many of us, we don't have it. I know sometimes we come to the end of the year we want to thank God you know, for what he has done. But I want to look forward to what God will do. Amen. Amen. I, I, want to, I want to give you a prophetic challenge on tonight to take the limits off of God. Many times we don't have what we should have because we have limits on God. We, 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 we place limits on God's Potential to work in our own lives. Yeah. Amen. God wants you to have it. Amen. That was a story. Man got to uh, heaven, and heaven it was this big warehouse. Amen. With, with all of these blessings, and the man asked Gabriel, "Gabriel, I want to see." Amen. The warehouse. And Gabriel took him to the warehouse, and he saw all of these names, and he ran across his name. He said, "Gabriel, what's in that box with my name on?" Gabriel said, you don't want to know. The man said, yes, I want to know. Gabriel opened the box. And all of these blessings were still in the box. And the man asked Gabriel, why did I, I receive all these blessings? And Gabriel said, because you put limits on God. Many of us, we put limits on God. We see life through our own lens instead of through the lens of God. But God is a big God. I wish I had this. He, he's a big God. He, he sits high and he looks low. And many times because of our lack of faith, we put limits on God. Because to take the limits off of God, you got to have faith. I wish I had this about it. He won't do anything.
got to believe it before you can achieve it. You got to believe it before you can get it. That's why the Bible says, let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. If your thinking is limited, then your God will be limited in your life. Yes. Awesome. 